Give us the countdown. Three, two, one. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Import Outlaws. Today we're going to get to work on stage fright. Uh, we got to get this old body off of here and get it freshened up a little bit. Can't be putting a brand new wrap on some beat up doors so uh, we're going to get to work on that. The boys at Action Graphics they printed us up a brand new wrap and this thing's going to be looking sweet. They do uh, signs, banners, wraps, decals, commercial work, work on race cars and a lot more. So anything you guys need hit those guys up. Uh, I'm going to put a link to their page in the description and they'll take care of you for sure. Make sure you tell them I sent you, and you know, my boy Dustin over there, he's been a great friend for a long, long time. He's the one who actually put me in stage fright originally. This thing's gonna look epic. I cannot wait to show you guys. So we got the door all cut off. I am gonna go through, cut off some of the stuff that we don't need, uh, like that and that, and you know, just clean up some of this and cut out some of this rusted area. Uh, I'm also gonna replace this with inch and a half tubing because it's inch and three quarter right now. And we want to do whatever we can to get a little bit of weight off the right side. I know it's minor, like the difference between inch and a half tubing and inch and three quarter tubing isn't that much, but you know, every ounce counts. And on top of that, I am gonna be adding a little piece of square tubing that runs from the corner of that B pillar right there to the A pillar uh, to mount the door to. So that's gonna add a little bit of weight too. Got a special guest out here with me. It's kind of the man that started this whole addiction. That is my dad. Hey. He's gonna be out here helping. He's gonna cut the door off of this side. Picked up the aluminum earlier. Got the steel coming tomorrow. To make the door bars and stuff, and we'll be ready to go. got all the door cut off and everything. Yeah, one time my dad was notching the chassis to put a roll cage in, ended up cutting through the fuel lines and the thing erupted into a fireball. Of course, you're in a panic when something like that happens. So you're trying to get the fire extinguishers working. You're worried you're gonna burn down everything. It was a, it was a big old fire, but luckily we got that thing out <laughs> before we burned down the garage. Just one of the many adventures that we've had. Call that ambulance. Where's See? Brandon? Yeah, where's Brandon when we need him? Luckily, keep a first aid kit now. Worried he might bleed out over here. Hey, don't get blood on my first aid kit. It's good to know you have a first aid kit. I'm new to this shop. Good thing my boys at Action Graphics use good quality material. This wrap's been on this car since 2017. Typical wraps, they'd be tearing, coming apart. That's where you get that cheap eBay stuff. My boys, they only use the finest materials. God dang, I think that wrap is holding this fender together. Get a shot of that rust. All right, so we've gotten everything finished up on the passenger side. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at that. We have this bar right here that we added, this one down here. This was stuff I really didn't wanna have to do, but in the name of safety, I feel like it's kind of necessary. We're staying at the right rear. I mean, something could have came through and made it to the driver's seat pretty easy. It's kind of necessary to have something to protect the driver in case you got an impact right there. 
So we went ahead and added them. We got the door bars redone as well and got the door bent and everything and it's ready to go back on once we get everything painted. You guys are gonna have to wait till a little later to see that though. We don't wanna give you guys any sneak peeks before it's all done. I just threw a cap on this right here just to kind of make it look finished. You know, there was a lot of damaged metal in here. So after we cut it out, it just looked kind of, you know, raggedy. So I went ahead and built that little piece just to cap it off, but also gave it an area so that dirt wouldn't accumulate inside that frame rail. My dad's working over here on the driver's side, getting all the bars trimmed up and fitted. And then we're gonna start well nosing and getting that door bent. <laughs> All right guys, so we got stage fright looking great. Got all the doors bent up, got everything fitted. I mean, we're pretty much done with that at this point. We added the door bar that goes down the length of the door. It wasn't there before. And you know, every time we got hit in the back or hit up here in the front, then it would just kind of fold everything in. Added this bar right here, added this bar to support the door bar, and then added the bars to the back of the chassis like we did on the other side. Feeling really good about the car now. Body looks great on it, so I can't wait to show you guys. I know someone's gonna say something about this in the comment section. I added this bar in here to tie the back of the cage to the chassis itself. I know there's different ways you could have done this. I mean, you could have used flat steel, you could have used like one by two tubing, but this is really all we had. I didn't want to go buy a whole stick of tubing just to do this little part. So I did it this way and that's all right. officially way behind where we need to be. Our entire house has been sick the last few days. Me and my mom have been inside trying to take care of everybody. But, you know, my dad, he's been out here in the shop trying to stay away from all the sick people and whatnot. He's went through and gotten all of the outlets wired up in the shop. So now we officially don't have to run everything off of extension cord. Yeah, he's working hard, drinking some coffee. Hey, that's all right though. You need some go-go juice every once in a while. That guy and my mom, you know, they build cabins out in Colorado. So, you know, they're badasses. I wouldn't want anyone else wiring up this shop for me. You fixed it? Now you guys may be asking, Reed, why don't you put a new front bumper on this? I'm doing all this work just to leave an ugly front bumper and beat up fenders on it. Well, the big reason for that is time. We're getting close to scrubbing. I don't want to run into a situation where I don't have the time to get some of the other things I want to get done finished. That's going to be last on the checklist. I actually got everything to do it, but it might just have to wait until after this big race coming up. There's a lot of little things I still have to do. And one thing I've realized lately is I do not have the free time I used to have. Either way, we're going to give it a little paint, make it look a little prettier. And I think it's going to look fine. All right. Well, you guys remember how I was telling you everyone in the house is sick. I'm sick now too. What? You don't have to run away from me. Can't remains leaving me but anyway we're gonna try to get some paint on stage fright tonight uh don't really have a whole lot of time and it is freezing cold outside if you're a professional painter you might want to close your eyes because i'm going to do something that might give you nightmares i'm going to be using trusty old rust-oleum spray cans to paint this thing you know with it being so cold out it's really not optimal conditions to be painting a car and can't really roll it outside because the weather is about to be bad rust-oleum to me is kind of like the redneck maybelline it makes everything pretty Trust me, you guys are gonna like what you see. I can do your whole car for $199.99. That's a special time offer, one time only. I'll get it done for you.
So remember when I was telling you guys it was probably too cold to paint? Well, it turns out it was. Every time I sprayed this thing, it would bubble up. I was having tons of issues. I kept trying to fix it and nothing was working out. So now if you look behind me, I am literally stripping all of that paint away. Tired of fighting it. I got like one more shot to do this. It's gonna be warm one day next week and the rest of the day it's gonna be in the 30s and 40s. So. I gotta try to take advantage of it all I can. We already got some of the car painted and actually got the wrap on it and the doors and everything and it looks fantastic. I'm so stoked to show you guys because it really looks good. It looks way better on the car than I could have imagined and it is premium. finally come we're about to unveil stage fright's brand new look i've been super excited about this it's been really tough keeping it a secret action graphics has this thing looking awesome we've been having a lot of trouble with the paint it's caused us to take a lot more time on this than what we expected and it's just been way too cold it's been humid uh, there's been a couple days where i've walked out here and there's literally been moisture dripping from the roof of the shop so all those conditions are not good for painting at all. I wish I would have done it a lot differently if I would have just taken the time to go buy the water separator like I needed to and just gun paint it like I had planned on doing in the first place, everything would have been a lot better. Instead, I tried to spray paint it. It ended up taking me a lot of time and wasn't worth it in the end. Learn from that lesson. You know, take the time to do it right the first time because you guys have seen me mess up a couple times on this video, but it is what it is. I'm only human. We've sanded the car, stripped it, repainted it. It's still got a couple spots that aren't looking great, but after the paint cures, I'm gonna try to take care of that. So I think I can polish it out, but we'll see. The moment I've been waiting for for weeks. Give us the countdown. Three, two, one. off my helmet to get it custom painted. Kevin bands off, he hooked this thing up and this thing looks awesome. I can't wait to wear this thing. This right here should give us a couple more horsepower at the very least. Before we wrap up this video, I just want to give a shout out to our great sponsors for coming on board with us this year. First off, we got Action Graphics. You know, those guys are awesome. I really enjoy their support. We've been longtime partners with them. We got DAM Trucking. Jason Myers has been a huge supporter the last couple years and I'm glad to say he's still on the car and we're still gonna be running the white car as well. K&R Construction coming on board for the first time this year. Uh, they're a construction service out in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. Uh, huge shout out to those guys. And then of course we got Import Outlaws. We're looking forward to a great year and without those guys it wouldn't be possible. And we're really looking to expand the whole YouTube channel and everything else. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the subscriptions and sharing this to your friends. I appreciate you guys and we'll see you guys next weekend at Scrabble. Hey!